Parshas Emer Nishin. Today we're going to learn about Hashem instructed Meshit to tell the elder Kainim to educate the younger Kainim regarding the halachas of being a Kain, the halachas of Kluv Hister for a Kain to make herself tummy by touching a human corpse, except his close relatives, his parents, his siblings, his children, and his wife. And of course, if the corpse and then no one else is available to bury, which is a mace mitzvah. Pasik Aleph. Vayemer Adineo Mesha. Hashem says to the Mesha. Emer el Akainim bin Aaron. Say to the Kainim, the sons of Aaron, the Amarta Aleim. And you shall say to them, the Lefesh la Yitam Ba'amov, that the Kain is not allowed to make himself plummy and pure through a dead person amongst his people. Rashi, Emer el Akainim. The Pasi uses an expression of Emmer Vamarta, a wide level expression, Emmer Vamarta, you shall say, why? To warn the adults regarding the children. B'nei Arin, the sons of Arin, Yosel Chalalim, I might think that this includes profane Kainim, Tam Lema, that's the text, it says Hakein in the Kainim, B'nei Arin, children of Arin, Af Bali Mubba, Mamashim, but this applies even those who have Deformity, Meneari, Velevenesan, and not the children, not the daughter of Aaron. Aitam and Baamov should not make himself impure amongst his people, but Aishamis per se Amov, as long as the corpse is amongst his people. You have some Mace Mitzvah to exclude the Mace Mitzvah. Pasuk Mace Kim, the Shade, except for his close relatives, a court of Elov, who are close to him, the Imail Aviv, his mother, his father, Velevene, Lubite, Lossiv. Son's daughter and his brother. So Rashi came to Shede, Ain Shede, Elish Ishtay. Term Shede refers to none other than his wife. And for his sister, Zapsula, who is still close to him, for she did not marry any man, for her, he shall make himself tummy. Rashi, Akrev, the Rabbis, the Rabbis, the Rabbis, the Rabbis, even if she is legally uh, engaged. For marital relations. Uh, our husband may not make himself tummy for his dead wife from whom he is demoted from his kona as long as she is amongst his people. A husband may not make himself tummy for his forbidden dead wife through him. Which means that he has become demoted unless well, he married somebody he shouldn't have married while she was with him. And this is the straightforward meaning of the Pasit. A husband will not make himself tell me for his close relatives, his wife, as long as she's amongst his people, otherwise she has people can bury her, and it's not a Mace Mitzvah. To which close relatives are referred to, but it's a Shuli Soli. To the one who's the Soli, the one to profane him, in other words, who causes him to become the motor from his corner. The Kayim is not make bald patches on his head, on their heads, um, in mourning for a dead person, or shave the points of their beards, nor may they inflict like a, a, uh, anything on their skin in mourning. They must not make bald patches. Al hames in mourning for a dead person. Al the shows are alkaf. As to Rashi, even a yid is also forbidden to do this. Allah like this. Fish number me shall be in and bain in it. And over says it says in regards to a yid between your eyes. Yochalay yechayv al kolish. I might have thought that one is not shayv anywhere else on the head. I'm lame. That's what the Torah says. Bira yishem on their head. And we learn this applies to Yid from the Kayan by means of Xer Shaw. Nemer Khan Karcha, Nemer Alan Bishaw Karcha, says a very Karcha and says elsewhere regarding Karcha. Ma Khan Kalarish, just as here refers to the entire head, Aflala Kalarish Mashma. So to her first to the entire head. Kol Makam Shi Kona Shi Kona Khmerish. Any place where the head can be made bald. Malahal and Alamais, just as there it applies when it's done in mourning for a dead person. Afkan Alamais, so there it applies when it's done in mourning for a dead person. Fasikanam Legalechel, or shave the points of their head. Fishin Emer Bishal Blaise Ashti, since it says by Ayit, you cannot destroy the points of their beard, 
you would think that even if he plucked out his beard, tweezers, or like a, a plane, it's usher. Tata says, you shall not shave. It's chayv only that which is called shaving and destroys the hair. So, tar, this is the reason. Normally, they inflict a yisratas with fish and a merbi yisro. Since it says regarding a yisro, but said that the late nefers late hit, no, and you must not make slashes on your skin. As you would think, if it mates five slashes, is have only ones. That's what the Tere says. Normally, they inflict a yisratas. The chayv calls it to sita, thinking that he is tired for every single gash. For the word Salat, this is extra to be expounded. Tedekar could have said, you may not do slash. And he did, she saw this, and I would have known that this means a slash. Why does it say Salat? That's the Talmud, you're chayv and everyone. Pasik, vav. They shall be sanctified for their God. And must not profane the name of their God. Yes, Ish Hashem, Adinei Lachem Eleim, Eim Akrimim Vayukedish, for they offer up the fire offerings of Hashem, the food of their God, and they will always be holy. So Rashi Kedish from you, Al Karshim Yakdisha Ben Din Bakat, even against their will, they then must make sure that they remain holy with regards to this. Plus Zain, Ish Zain of Achalal Leikah, for they may not marry a Zaina or a profane woman. Ish Grusha Misha Leikah, for nor marry a woman divorced from her husband. Why? He called the Shadal of for each kind of sanctified for for his Hashem. Rashi says, Zaina, what does that mean? She never be less Israel, also long. One who had relations with the Yid, it was forbidden to her. In Chavi Christus, a Nasan Imamzer, those who are Chavi Christus, Nasan are Mamzer. Allah, French, know them in Absolut Shemagona. There's one who was born from a marriage forbidden to Akona. Again, for example, Asamana Mikhain Godol, A Bas Amano married Mikhain Godol, Bas Bas Ravot Mikhain Hedjit. So to a union from a regular kona, I want to profane from the uh, from the priesthood through one of the forbidden relationship for the kona. For he offers up the food under God. You are to be regarded to him as sanctified. Because I am a shem who sanctifies you, I am holy. Even against his will, Shemloy wrote to the Gardish that if he does not wish to divorce his forbidden wife, how can you be a slave? She Gardish beat him and afflict him until he divorced. Kadish Allah, you are regarded as a sanctified. No hey, Greek Tusha, treat him in holy manner. Stay at Lishim Behold Dovern, that he should be first in all matters of Kedusha. The one of Lishim Behold let him re- uh, recite the Bracha, Brechas Amaz, and other meal. And the daughter of a priestly man who revenged herself by acting immorally, she disgraces her father, but she shall be burnt on fire. He says, as this is Rashi says, that she was Rosanna through, she was Michal Fusnos. She is a bad Zika Baal with Zonso. I mean, her name is Nasun. She was legally attached to Osman and acted immorally either through tradition or after Harrison. Sin on Ethel with Dabra, Cohen, or Shle, Dibra, Cousin of Neil. Machlake is the Gemara about this, but all the greed of the terror is not speaking of an unmarried woman. As the Vim Mimechalelis, Kilo Ugisas Kameda. She's profane and then denigrated her his honor. She my love for people say about him, or Shazayelet, first, I see you father this girl. First to see who brought up this girl. The kind who has been appointed to be greater than his brethren, upon whose head the anointing oil was poured, and he who is inaugurated to wear the special corner garments, he must not let his hair of his head grow wild, nor Tears clothing in mourning. As she says, La Yifra, La Yigadu Pora Alevel, you may not let it grow wild in mourning. Ezel Gidal Pora, and what is considered wild growth, Yisra Mashashim Yim, more than 30 days. Pasi Yid Aleph, Al Konashi's Mesla Yavi, 
He must not enter a building where there's any part of a dead person. Love with the Malay Taman or make himself impure even for his father or for his mother. He must not enter into into uh, a covered area of a dead person. Nashus Mace Love with the is dominant the mace include a quarter of a leg of blood from a dead person. Shumatama Bayo, a cost and shorty in the covered area. Love with Lima Lay Tamale Ba El Atali Mace Mitzvah. Switch in here merely to permit him to make himself impure for a mace here. Posse Yiral, Vata Nashus Mace Lay Obey. Miss um love with him, he's not allowed he's not he's not allowed to get in cure with anybody. Base. You must not leave the base of Middlesh to attend their funeral. But yes, how well is Middlesh lay of and he may not not profane his Hashem's holy service by remaining there. He needs their Shem Mishkas Alayov Allah and Hashem. Since the crown formed by the anointed of oil of his Hashem is upon him, I am Hashem. He may not even follow the coffin. Here we learn that a king may offer sacrifices when he's an Inu. is applied also. Even if the father and mother died, in the turn, let's say, it's not required to leave the Mishnah, but they perform the Abida. He said before. And the Kai, you read it. Yeah, this is a thank God. Let's talk about thank God. Yeah. The Yisrael He may not thereby profane his only service. She told me a cost of the Teda permitted it. Ha, and that is your Ainan. A regular crane who performs the service of Ainan, Kilo profanes it. Passing it out. I'm one of the Shahal Zena Silla Yikov, a widow with the worst seer, profane woman, or a normal woman, demon, I marry. He must pursue them evil in the Mayam of Ikah Isha, but rather you shall marry a woman who is a virgin and from his people. Rashi Bakhalala Shadatam Shilat Kona, she was born from a union to Bishop Shilat Kona. Pasik Tezvo, but the Shal Zara Bamba, he must not profane his descendants amongst their people. Yet he had to make a country, I am a Shem of Sanctifying. So Rashi Bakhal Zari, if no Sakh is when Absolu is, but if he does marry one of the Absolu, Zari Menof Solomon, the Dilthusha's Kona. The sentence of the marriage are profane for the holy status of Gona.